Hi, I'm Brady Volt, founder of Nimble This and the Volt Firm. I'm really excited to be talking to you today about PNM. The SCTE asked if I would put together a short video about how cable operators use PNM out in the field for this year's Cable Tech Expo. In this video, we'll show you a typical day of how cable operator uses PNM thanks to one of our customers, Comporium, located in South Carolina, a short drive from where I'm located in Atlanta, Georgia. Through continuous use of PNM, Comporium has become very adept at troubleshooting RF impairments before they impact their subscribers. So sit back and watch this video on troubleshooting PNM out in the field.
So, Billy, what do you find um, beneficial with uh, Nimble PNM in your in Comporium? So, we we have been using Nimble for uh, probably about two years now, and um, we we had a, a Comporium began a, a, an initiative, our network reliability process improvements. You know, we always have to have a fancy name for things, um, and part of that was to to look at other types of software, particularly uh, PNM software. And, and we chose Nimble, and um, we've been using Nimble for, for, for a good little while now. We, we like it uh, for identifying um, two different types of issues. The way I see it, you know, it will help identify plan issues, and it also helps identify in-home issues as well. So using that, and that's the tool we primarily use to identify our cable faults uh, and our um, house issues as well. And with it being proactive, you know, our, our whole goal is to, to try to get these problems fixed before a customer even notices there's any type of impact. And that's been the that's been the, the most beneficial part of this and the most I should say the different part of this as opposed to, to what we have been doing in the past. So in the past, uh, you know, using some other software, which we still use, some S and MP type software. And um, I told people that's the difference between kind of putting out a fire and preventing fire, and, and, and the PNM has been a great tool for that. Would, would there be a, maybe a key takeaway that you would have for SCTE members as far as, you know, should they use PNM? What would be a uh, maybe a key thing that SCTE members would want to know about PNM? So, yeah, with PNM, uh, from, from our standpoint, from what I've, I've learned about it, um, it's a tool that uh, number one, it's it's relatively inexpensive and, and simple to implement. Um, there's there's no equipment to roll out. You, you have all the equipment there already. The, the modems are there. Uh, if you're using pre-equalization, then it's there. Uh, and hopefully you are using pre-equalization. That was one of our holdbacks from turning pre-equalization on. We were kind of late to activate it um, because we were afraid that pre-equalization may band-aid problems that we weren't able to see. So. When we when we had Nimble uh, turned on was when we of course we activated the pre-EQ then and we felt a whole lot better that we weren't band-aiding problems. But uh, you know it's it's not very expensive and, and the, the payout for us has been tremendous. Any parting thoughts for SCTE and SCT Expo? Uh, I hate that I'm not there. I will be online uh, watching virtually, so I get to see myself, I guess, uh, when I'm when I'm watching at home. I've been working from home for six months, so it's going to be a different experience this year. But I, I still, I'm still active in SCT. I, I've still made all of our virtual chapter uh, meetings this year. I uh, still have all my certifications current, and I, I really encourage people to do that um, for our industry. I don't think there's an equivalent. Um, I, I've been an SCT member for over 10 years now, and uh, I'm very proud of it. All right. Well, we want to thank you, Billy, and want to thank Comporium for all the support in the field today and for help making this video possible. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you, guys.